warned opposition leaders they will pay a heavy price for inciting violence. And indeed, they already have. The leader of the opposition, Morgan Changrai, is in hospital with severe injuries after being detained by police. BBC News is banned from travelling to Zimbabwe. Our correspondent, Orla Gerin, reports now from neighbouring South Africa. Tear gas on the horizon, the telltale sign of a regime in trouble. This was Harare last Sunday. The BBC has obtained these images of the police crackdown when protesters tried to hold a banned rally. And here is the face of the opposition, Morgan Changarai, in his hospital bed today. I was subjected to a lot of beatings. In fact, it was random beatings, and uh, but I think the intention was to inflict as much harm as they could. He has serious head injuries and needed two pints of blood. And here is the anguish in the home of a man called Gif Tendari, an opposition activist shot dead on Sunday. This married father of three was killed by a regime in decay that is dragging its people down with it. The police have been busy since Sunday. Witnesses say they opened fire on those who came to mourn Gif Tandari. This man was one of two injured. But those pushing for regime change insist they won't give up whatever the dangers they face. Today, the government had a message for them, saying there'll be a heavy price to pay. Orla Geer and BBC News, Johannesburg. Ecuador's president, Rafael Correa, claims he was beaten by state police, is in intensive care with a cracked skull, say his lawyers. Morgan Schwangerei was arrested on Sunday for trying to stage a political rally. He claims he and other activists were then savagely beaten while in custody. Leaving a court in Harare yesterday, they were visibly injured but determined. Robert Mugabe, we're going to continue to defy them. We don't recognize Posa, we don't recognize Robert Mugabe. They're criminals. The court hearing has been postponed as state prosecutors failed to turn up this morning, according to Schwangerei's attorney. Foreign leaders have strongly criticized Zimbabwe's president, Robert Mugabe, for the treatment of political opposition. Despite a serious economic crisis in the country, Mugabe plans to stand for re-election next year.